Greeting. My name is Dr. Stephen Quay, and I am CEO and president of Atosa Therapeutics, a public company on the NASDAQ stock exchange with the ticker symbol ATOS. This explainable video accompanies a press release we put out this morning entitled, Atosa Therapeutics reports positive charisma and oxygen trial results. The endoxin shown to significantly reduce mammographic breast density, potentially paving the way for innovative cancer prevention strategies. Now, I'll be making forward-looking statements today, and so you should review all of our filings with the SEC before making any investment decisions. So as a reminder of what mammographic breast density reduction looks like, this slide shows the results from a Charisma 1 tamoxifen trial. In the first panel on the left, you see the breast density in white before tamoxifen. At three months after tamoxifen, you see that the density has been reduced and it's further reduced at six months. Uh, we are reserving the right to show these images from the endoxifen trial for the San Antonio meeting uh, in December of this year. So let's go through the study highlights. The ATOSA-sponsored ATOS 016-hour prevention trial included healthy women randomized to daily placebo, one and two milligrams of zeandoxifen. There were 80 women in each arm and the treatment was for six months. Mammographic breast density decrease was used as a proxy for therapy response. Measurements at six months or early terminations were compared to baseline density. There were no important differences in age, BMI, or other background factors between the randomization arms. The significant relative density change was minus 19.3% and minus 26.5% for the one and two milligram arms respectively, using the placebo arm as the reference. There were no significant differences when comparing the one and two milligram arms. In a 2011 study, women with breast density decreases of 10% or greater after taking tamoxifen for one year had a 62% reduction in breast cancer incidence after five years. In our study, there were no changes in hematological safety tests or vital signs. The mean endoxin plasma concentration was 5.18 nanograms per ml in the one milligram arm and 10.87 nanograms per ml in the two milligram arm after one month of therapy. Plasma concentration stayed the same at three and six months. The number of women that discontinued because of side effects related to the drug were four, five, and 12 in the placebo one and two milligram arms respectively. Vasomotor symptoms were not reported as a reason for discontinuation. A validated questionnaire including 36 questions and a five graded Likert scale was used for self-assessment of symptoms. Only vasomotor symptoms, night and cold sweats and hot flushes increased during the study period in the active arms but not substantially. The mean change was 1.4 on a 10-point scale. We are thrilled with the top-line results from the Charisma Endoxin Phase II trial with Zendoxin and heartened by the idea that this work may someday lead us to a preventive approach to breast cancer. Although further analysis of this study is required, the notion that one milligram of Zendoxin may significantly reduce breast density as well as if not better than currently available therapies, potentially without many of the intolerable side effects, is extremely encouraging and a significant step toward a solution for millions of women with dense breasts. If you'd like more information about Atosa Therapeutics or our clinical trials, please go to our website at www.atosainc.com. Thank you for your attention.